everybody. I have officially arrived in Austria. Sadly, it is already dark, so we weren't able to see the views on the way here. But from what I can see, it looks very, very pretty. I've just arrived and checked into my hotel room. It is now 6.53. The door went because I needed an iron. Um, but let me give you a little room tour quickly. I'll show you properly in the daytime tomorrow. This is what it looks like. I'm just in the middle of unpacking my bits. This bathroom area is so gorgeous. And you go through here, a rainfall shower, which I love. And then this is the main bedroom. I have got a little balcony as well. Sadly, because it's dark, I can't really see much. But it looks so cute. I'll try and show you properly in the daytime tomorrow. I'm very excited to wake up in the morning and see what the view looks like. Well, I've literally got half an hour. I need to have a speedy shower and then get myself ready because we are going wine tasting this evening. A little bit gross, but I didn't really have time to... A little bit gross, but I didn't have time to like wash my face, get my makeup off properly to redo it. So I'm just gonna have to layer on top, which is... Gross, I know, but I am running short on time, so we're just having to make do. Accessorize have actually got a photographer with them as well, so I need to make sure that I'm looking half decent at least. It was really cool because in the airport, we actually went to the accessorize store in Gatwick and they let us pick out a couple more pieces that we liked. So I picked out another hat and scarf that I thought would go better with my outfit I have planned for tomorrow. All right, what else do I need? Definitely some concealer. This has been my favorite concealer, I'd say for like the past year now. It is Say Beauty. And I have it a couple of shades lighter, which just works perfectly for under the eyes. Shit, 15 minutes, okay. It's really nice actually, because it's actually quite a small group of girls on this trip and two of them, I already know because they are also signed with the same agency that I am. And so far, everyone has been so lovely. I feel like I say that on every trip, but I don't know why. I still always get a little bit anxious, especially when there's people that I don't know. But I'm really excited for the next couple of days, particularly tomorrow, because tomorrow is like our only full day here and we're gonna go mountain walking. I think we're gonna go for a little swim. We have a lovely dinner. And tonight we are wine tasting which is like one of my favorite things in the world to do. I absolutely love wine. A little bit of blush. Have we got time to do a speedy eyeshadow look? I've just put this color from the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Palette. Oh my God, this has just fallen out. No! Oh, I was just about to use that as well. I'll try and press it back in. Now I've got glitter all over my hands. Oh no, that's so sad. I'm just gonna pop that glittery shade all over my eyelids as well. I feel like that just makes it look a little bit more dressy. And then for lips, I'm just gonna go in with this Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Oil. All right, how's that looking? Hopefully not too cakey. I do feel like under my eyes it's looking a little bit crusty, but we're gonna have to make do. This is my little outfit of the evening for wine tasting. I thought I'd go smart casual vibes. I've got a pair of pointed toe boots on as well. Obviously need to change out all of my accessories to accessorize stuff. And they sent me like a whole little jewelry box full. I'm just gonna pop on these chunky gold earrings. I feel like these are such a gorgeous statement earring. And then for necklace options, I have this really cool, I think this is called a snake chain, and then also this chunkier gold chain. But I think I'm actually going to layer them. I think they'd look really cool put together. What do we think? Is that too much? Do I do one chain? I feel a bit blinged out. Okay, I think I'm gonna do one. I think I'm just gonna do this chunky one, take this one off. I'm just gonna finish off with a spritz of my perfume. This is the Lalabo, I wanna say coriander, but I'm pretty sure that's not how you pronounce it. Coriandre. Oh, I just tasted some of that. I'm not sure if I ran through my outfit or not, but my top is very old and other stories, um, but I'm sure they probably have something similar online now. My belt is from, I won't say Me and M, because I think I got it at the same time as these trousers, and these trousers are from Me and M. My boots are from Anthropology. I got these last month and I have already worn them to death. And then obviously, all my jewelry now is from Accessorize. My little bag of the evening is gonna be this one as well, also from Accessorize. Right, bang on time. Got four minutes to get myself downstairs. Let's go. There is literally nothing better at the end of the night 
and having a shower and climbing into a hotel robe. That shower was dreamy. I now need to do my skincare. I've been doing Skin and Me for the past, I would say six months now. I think I pay about 24 pounds a month and I get one of these little subscriptions. It's meant to be like your skincare in one step. And in mine, I have tretinoin, niacinamide and azaleic acid because i have got acne prone skin all of my ingredients basically help target that and when i first started using it i definitely noticed a difference and i don't know whether i'm just used to it now but i'm kind of scared because my skin has not been this good in a while i'm scared to come off of it and i guess don't fix what's not broken that's the saying <laughs> also this lip balm has been saving my lips. It's the Tasha the Kisu Lip Mask. I was literally lathering this on my lips on the plane because especially both cold weather and flying, two things that I'm doing at the moment, does not agree with my lips. They go so horribly dry and cracked. And this has been amazing. And I just feel like super bougie with a little spatula. This evening was super lovely though. The whole private dinner setup was super cute. And they have honestly been spoiling us. Literally, when I came into my room after dinner, they had also put some more goodies here. So I think this is like a little travel makeup bag, little tote bag, some cute socks, some gloves, and a hair clip. I always use these types of hair clips, so that's gonna be very handy. Also, side note, this is something I love about whenever I travel anywhere in Europe, is the bedding situation. They always have like two separate duvets when especially you're sharing with somebody you're not having a war over who gets the duvet and i just don't know why this isn't a normal thing everywhere else but i love it all right i'm gonna head to bed it is midnight now that is all of my skincare done i'm gonna head straight to bed because i am so so tired downstairs to grab myself some pastries and a coffee to have in bed. This is like the dreamiest way to start the morning. It's quite nice because today we have until 11 a.m. to kind of just explore around the hotel, chill and have some breakfast, get some content. This morning I woke up at quarter to seven, which is just unheard of from me. I am not a morning person, but it literally felt like Christmas day. I was so excited to go and open the window and see what the view looks like. I feel like there's something really exciting about arriving somewhere at night and not knowing what you're gonna wake up to. And it definitely didn't disappoint. I have never been somewhere like this. So it is absolutely freezing outside though. I went out in my pajamas and oh my goodness, even though I have socks on, my feet touching the floor, they were frozen. We're going on a mountain walk today, which I'm very excited about. So I need to get ready. I'm definitely gonna be wrapping up with all the layers, especially when you're doing something active as well. You want plenty of layers so that if you do get hot, you have options to take things off. I've come outside to show you what I'm wearing today, just because it is a little bit dark in the rooms. So this is my base outfit. I am wearing the Uniqlo Heat Tech Thermal that I bought in the last vlog. I'd recommend if you're in between sizes, I would definitely size down because you want it to be as skin tight to keep in the heat as best as possible. I have also actually got some tights on underneath my trousers as well. And then I'm just gonna pop on, these are the Uniqlo Heat Tech thermal socks as well. They do so many cute colors. I just got these like really dark khaki green ones. Oh my God, it's so cold. You can literally see my breath. Look, I don't know. If, I don't know if you can see that. Literally nothing will keep your feet as warm as these socks. They are brilliant. I have them in like three different colors. Then I'm going to, sorry, I'm actually kind of close to a road if you can hear some cars, but then I have this Ganny jumper that I also showed in my last vlog that I got from the outlet. This is 100% wool as well, so it's gonna keep me super toasty. And then, cause we're going for a walk, I'm just going to pop on my Solomons. Otherwise, I think I would probably have put my Birkenstocks with this outfit. I think that would have looked cuter, but we have to be practical. I feel like these shoes get a lot of hate online for being so ugly, but I think they're kind of cute. Also, they are so, so comfy, which is exactly what I want today. I'm also gonna pop on my teddy coat from Cos. And then of course we have to add some accessorized bits. I actually picked up this scarf in the airport yesterday just cause I thought it would go better with my outfit than the pieces I picked out online. Got a little 
beanie as well. I feel like I'm looking like an egg. And then for the bag, I'm gonna go for my Loewe puzzle bag. I just really love this burgundy with the green and the camel. I think this color combo is so cute. I feel like the heat tech thermals are literally the only answer to how to dress warm but like also not look too bulky all right i need to give my room a little tidy because i feel like whenever i check into a hotel room i my stuff just like explodes and then my room looks a mess so i'm gonna give that a tidy and then i'm gonna head off for our walk right we've just taken a little drive up i say a little drive it took half an hour and it felt like it was never going to end we just kept going up and up and up oh my goodness this view I feel like it's not even doing it justice. It's surprisingly not that cold up here. Like I actually feel fine. But all the tall trees here, I don't know why I feel like twilight is trending again. It's like all over my TikTok. So everything at the moment is reminding me of twilight. But especially like the tall trees, it's reminding me of that one scene of Edward where you know when he's like, so you think you can outrun me? <laughs> and I've seen people recreate it. And it's just so funny. But yeah, apparently we are walking to a little hut further up the mountain and then get some more content. Head back down for some lunch. But honestly, I could spend all day up here. I'm back in my hotel room having a very, very speedy snack. We only had about an hour whilst we were up there and I was a bit mad trying to get all the content. So I'm sorry if I didn't manage to catch that much. It was so breathtakingly beautiful. I literally could have spent all day up there. I'm just snacking on these dark chocolate almonds. I actually got from the airport yesterday. I didn't get around to eating. The rest of the afternoon, we're going to the pool and the spa. I think we might be doing yoga. I'm not 100% sure. And then we have like a Christmas party this evening. Just popped on my little sewing cosy. It's like this really cool, like crinkled material. It is also from Accessorize. I actually didn't realize that they did swimwear and it's really lovely quality. The buck is quite cool as well. It's like a little crisscross. I don't know if I actually told you the name of the hotel, but we're staying in the Nassau Hof and it's a spa hotel. I do think that they do skiing stuff here. I don't know. I've never done skiing, so I don't know if it's like if you have like special hotels for skiing. That feels like a really stupid question. It's about an hour's drive away from Salzburg airport and it's a spa hotel. So everybody's just like walking around in bathrobes and slippers, which is so cool. Yes, I'm all ready for the spa. This is exactly what I want after that walk. Oh my goodness. I am exhausted. We had a little swim and then went into the sauna. I just can't get over how beautiful it is. I keep thinking like it doesn't look real. Like it literally looks like a green screen. Also had a cool memory unlocked today. I used to love the sound of music and I swear that was set in Austria. I was literally like walking up the mountain earlier and then suddenly got, you know the song, um, the hills are alive with the sound of music. That started like Started so singing that in my head, and then I had a light bulb moment that I think that was set here. And I used to be absolutely obsessed with that film when I was younger. I'm getting ready for this is like the Christmas dinner tonight. I've almost finished getting ready. I just need to recurl these bits, and I think I'm going to add a red lip, and then obviously need to add some earrings as well. How cute and perfect are these for the Christmas time? Oh, one's in like a little knot. They're like little bows. How cute. I feel like I'm only just discovering now how many good pairs of like statement earrings accessorize have. Also, it's not super heavy. It has the price on the back. These are only 12 pounds as well. I feel like I'm gonna get so much wear out of these during the Christmas period. You know what I also love about European bathrooms? And it makes so much sense. They have plugs by the sinks. Like I don't know how much of a health hazard that is, but it makes getting ready so much easier because you can actually do your hair by the mirror. I feel like in the UK, we just have to sit on the floor in our living rooms, or I don't know, if you're lucky enough to have like a vanity area in your bedroom. I do not, so I usually end up doing my hair and makeup literally sat on the floor. I also have these super cute bow clips, but then I don't know if it's too many bows, you know? Or I have this really cute scrunchie as well. This is one of my favorite hairstyles to do. Literally just shove it up into a low bun. I feel like that automatically makes it look a little bit more sophisticated. Pull the front bits and you're all done. 
Because it is the Christmassy evening tonight, I think it's only right that I add a red lip too. I'm trying to do this in my viewfinder and I just feel like it's not gonna go well for me. So I'm gonna go do it in the mirror and come back. Okay, red lip is on. I feel like this has really made the outfit look a little bit more dressy because I am actually wearing jeans. I think I'm gonna leave any more accessories just because I think anything else will look a little bit too much. I've tried to find a place to put the camera so that I can show you my full outfit, but I couldn't find one. Um, but I just have on my little kitten heel boots that I was wearing last night as well. A pair of baggy jeans from Arquette. Oh, I just flicked my belt out. My trusty white tee from Cos, and then this blazer is from ASOS. I posted a TikTok in this a couple of months ago, and you all seem to love it. It's at such a reasonable price point as well. And it's just got like a really cool, like boxy shape. It's actually also asymmetrical. It has like a button here. So if I wanted to do it up, it would kind of look like that. I literally feel like I find any way to wear a pair of baggy jeans and a white t-shirt. But I think it just goes to show how versatile it can be. Like I feel very dressy right now, but my base outfit is actually what I would just wear day to day too. My little bag is of course from Accessorize. I love all the little bow details. They have so many cute like bow accessories in at the moment. So yeah, it's my little outfit of the evening. Let's go to the Christmas party. just went down for breakfast and now I'm just chilling in our hotel room before going for a little walk. We're gonna explore the local area. I'm not sure of the name of like the village or town that we're near because I actually didn't realize quite how big Salzburg is but we woke up this morning. Wait let me see if I can show you. Oh I don't know if it's stopped. We do have a little bit of snow. Maybe if I zoom in into the mountains. Can you see how snowy it is up there? I wish we were going back up the mountains today, but we're just gonna go for a walk in like this little village around here. Literally, the minute I turned the camera off, the snow got really heavy. So then I ran and got my camera and now it stopped again. Hopefully it snows when we're on our walk. My little outfit of the day. I've gone for all the same knits that I was wearing the first day, but I've also got my thermals underneath as well. I've then just got on my Topshop Colin jeans. And then I actually, I want to wear my Birkenstocks, but then with it being snowy, I don't know if these are gonna get ruined because they are like a suede. That's the only thing with suede and why I haven't bought more into the trend this season is because I just feel like it's quite an unpractical material. Like you can't wear it if it's raining, which it is like 99% of the time in the UK in winter. So actually these don't get much wear either. I think to be on the safe side, I'm gonna put on my ugly dad shoes. To be honest, you're not really gonna see my outfit because I'm gonna put on my big coat from Cos. Since I bought this last week, I've already gotten so much wear out of it. I'm then gonna put on this blue scarf from Accessorize. I kind of want more of the light blue showing than the dark blue because it is two-toned. Going to be wearing my puzzle bag again and then also my sunnies. Right, I don't know if you can see, but this is my little outfit of the day. I'm excited to go have a little explore. I'm not sure on the name of the little village that we've come to, but it looks like they're setting up for Christmas markets. And I feel like we stuck out like a sore thumb because there's basically no tourists here. And every time we walk past someone, they're speaking to us in Austrian and I'm just there like, hello. <laughs> just trying to make it clear that we don't understand what they're saying, but I feel really bad. But like the Christmas markets start next week, I think they said. Is that what they said? Yeah, I think next week. So I think that would have been really cute. I definitely want to come back. I don't know if I'd want to be closer to the center of Salzburg though, because that looks gorgeous as well. There's a cable car up there and it looked like it was moving. We got all excited because we thought we were going to be able to go up it, but it looked like it was sadly shut. But I've never been in a cable car. I've never actually been skiing. Neither of you. Neither have you? Of no. None of us have. <laughs> ski virgin. Yeah. And still <laughs> ski virgin. Because yeah. I really want to go skiing, but I feel like I don't know many people who have never done it, so I wouldn't want to go and then be the only one that's never done yeah, it. Yeah, I think yeah, we've got our next true. girls trip. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think we should Contact do it. Trip. Absolutely. Do it. All right, we're just gonna take a bimble back to the hotel now. I actually don't know how long we've been walking for though. I think it's that one over there. I don't know how, but my suitcase is so much more full than when I came. Sadly, we are checking out now. I feel like this trip has gone so, so quickly. I'm really glad me and the girls got up early to have a little explore 
of the town. But this has really made me want to do more winter holidays. I went to Iceland when I was 16, but apart from that, I have never done like a winter holiday. And I think next year I would absolutely love to like hire a car and like drive around Austria. I definitely want to come back here or maybe Switzerland. Canada would be amazing. I think especially this time of the year where everything is like all Christmassy and there's snow. I'd love to come back here when it's like blanket snow. But we were very lucky that we did get a bit today. I think it's called the Nesselhof. I will put the name on the screen. It's just so gorgeous. I would 100% come back here. One last little room tour. I don't know if I showed you the wardrobes, but these wardrobes are actually like better than my ones at home. So much space. These are double wardrobes as well. Say goodbye to the view as well. This was just like the most amazing thing ever to wake up to. I'm going to head downstairs now. We've got, I think it's still like another hour and a half before we actually leave for the airport. So I think we're just gonna go sit, have a coffee. It'll be really nice because it's actually light on our drive back. On the way here, it was dark, so we didn't get to see anything. So I'm excited for the drive. Oh my goodness, look at the snow now. So sad that we have to leave just as it starts to like properly snow. They look so pretty. I am very sad to already be back in London and apparently it was snowing here whilst we were away. How typical is that? The one time I go somewhere snowy, it also snows here. And it looks so pretty as well. I was really hoping that there was gonna be snow when we landed. I'm actually going to end the vlog here just because I have lots of boring admin -y bits to do for the rest of the week. And also get this YouTube video edited, but I hope you did enjoy it. I had the best couple of days and would highly recommend going to Austria. Like it was so breathtakingly beautiful. I'm looking back through the photos and I just like actually can't believe it. I just don't think that any photos or any of the footage I got on here could quite do it justice, just how beautiful it is. I need to make sure that I go back. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.